Now to a 27 investigates follow up. Who could forget these images? The roof of a home in Trumbull County just falling apart just after work was apparently done to fix the problem. Now the alleged improvements were done with money provided by a state grant. And today we learned our report is bringing about change to the emergency home repair program. 27 Investigates reporter Jeff Lefkowitz talked with the area agency on aging today. He is live in the studio with more on what he found out. Jeff? Well, Lauren and Dave, George Hazlitt's leaky roof was supposed to be fixed, and according to the contractor's paperwork, it was. But as the Area Agency on Aging was filling out our public records requests on the work performed, they discovered something that they describe as eye-opening. Part of our public records request to the Area Agency on Aging was to see pictures of the completed repair job on 88-year-old George Hazlitt's mobile home. It was approved by a caseworker last year. Lisa Solly, Chief of Community Resources for the agency, tells me what the contractor said he did in his invoice didn't appear to match what they saw in the pictures. It appears that the work that was done after um, on this didn't appear to be up to quality standards that we expect from our providers. Because of this case, Solly says the caseworker who signed off on the work is no longer in that position. And because of our investigation, they are changing the way they do business when it comes to using that emergency home repair grant, which includes putting in new protocols. The actual inspection of work and how we're going to go about um, putting in some more um, safeguards so that that work is better scrutinized. If there's any question, then having some backup method to be able to use to possibly bring in another um, expert to look at it. Donna Damas, who brought the problem of George's leaky roof to our attention in the first place, tells me she's glad the agency is stepping up to the plate. It's a very good, good idea. I think that the work needs to be supervised as it's being done. Um, I think they need to be checking more. And besides fixing the roof, the Area Agency on Aging also plans to try and address several other problems in the home, such as the floor. For Hazlitt, he's thankful to Donna and everyone else for their help. He'd like to stay in his home. By God, if I can make any change for the good, I'm very happy. I guarantee you that for anybody, that's for sure. And I thank you guys at the bottom of my heart. I really think it's wonderful. Now, the Area Agency on Aging points out that with that emergency home repair money, they were able to help out 40 senior citizens this past year with things such as replacing water heaters and furnaces and other problems in the home. This is one case that sort of didn't turn out as expected, and they hope that with those new protocols that they put in place, it will never happen again. Lauren? Thanks, Jeff. Police